Hi guys, I just thought I'd again continue on with this video of this pixel control enclosure build and talk about how I'm going to mount my uh, 12 volt power supplies. I'll just be running two 12 volt power supplies in this um, enclosure. Um, as you can imagine, here's the bottom of the, of the enclosure, our board. Uh, what I'm proposing to do is to mount one like such. I'll spin it around so you can see a bit, one like such, and offset the other one so there's a nice airflow gap for the fan of the power supply. And also, remember, I'll have the vent at the back here uh, to be able to draw air in because these uh, meanwhile supplies draw air in through. Anyway, uh, there's a couple of reasons why I've, why I've chosen to mount on them, mount them this way. I've got my decided to have my 240 volt coming in this way, that was a nice short lead into there. I'm going to offset them a little bit so I can get nice easy access uh, to my outputs, my 12 volt outputs to run uh, down. Even if, if I needed to swap mine out, it'd be nice and easy. Um, I said I had a lot of room inside the enclosure box. I thought, why try to jam everything in there too tight? I have seen quite a lot of people mount them uh, like such. Uh, so the vents are on either side, either inside the box like that or like that. Um, and then they make a nice bracket to hold them in there. I just thought I'd keep it nice and easy. It's just everyone else who wants them, how they want to mount them. It's just how I decided to do mine. Now, how I'm going to mount these together, I don't have a 3D printer or anything special like that. You've probably seen some 3D prints. So I've just gone back to the basic aluminium brackets. Um, so sorry, before I just cut up four lengths of aluminium, well, it's just 20, just 20 by 20 equal aluminium. Um, drill some uh, five mil holes, because these are a, a four mil screw. So it gives yourself a lot of clearance room, so you don't have to be totally accurate. Uh, I've just mounted the screw for myself. It's just about 85 millimeters on centers. Right, yeah, eight, was it 80? 80, 80 mil on centers, sorry, um, for the power supplies. I did come across one snag um, regarding the, uh, the screws. I went down to my local hardware store, my nuts and bolt shop, so to speak. And they didn't have any short enough, like these are the ones which I would normally use. They're a nice short 8mm screw. That's a bit hard to see. Do a hand model job. Um, with a nice and close spring washer, flat washer. Um, unfortunate, unfortunately, I'd ran out of them and they didn't stock them, so I've had to order some more in. So, just for a time being, they did have some 10mm long ones, which I just had to be mindful that the threads weren't going to go in and interfere and foul and short out any electronics inside the power supplies so just to get a couple of mil gap um, save me having to chop everyone off because I'm rather lazy I just decided to grab the nuts and just use the nuts as a big fat space I said these are only temporary just to show you guys I said I have ordered some of these these ones from I think it was eBay I'll take three or four weeks from China they come in um, yeah so that's how I'm gonna mount them um, how I'm gonna secure these brackets to the base is quite simple. I just have one at the back, um, which will sort of mount down like that and allow me to screw down into my board. One on the back here, and then I'll have another one on the front, like such, like such, so you can screw through onto the deck. Onto the deck. All right, we'll just quickly mount these things up. I found. Oh, uh, this is just a nice, easy, convenient way of mounting them. Um, you don't have to be overly accurate with your measurements because there's a bit of flexibility. Um, and I just screw them together. Um, and you can adjust the angle that you want. I found too, you'll see that in a minute. So we'll just um, draw these together. Just a real low setting on the on the drill things on number one. They don't have to be overly tight, it's just the mount them. They just gotta support their own weight, really. And then we've got the, the back one's got the, the foot mount to secure him on the MDF base.
We'll see how that works in a minute. That was the other reason why I used the aluminium because I had it lying around. And there was some off cuts from something else. And it's relatively cheap. Again, you pick it up in Bunnings or, or anywhere like that. It's nothing special. So we can mount it, offset it however you, however you want. So once I get the other side in, I'll nip these screws up. And that'll be how it shall set. So this one with the other leg will sit in the front. So this is on real low torque settings, only another one on the little driver. I'm not going to strip the threads out or anything. And then the last one. Nip that one up a little bit. Just picked up a thread, I reckon. I'll do it with the hand driver so I can get a bit more of a feel for it. So, yeah, so when I have them, you can either mount them like that. Obviously, if you had the foot mount, a bit different, but I've decided to angle them just so I can gain access to the power, the um, outputs. So when you've got the angle you like, you can just nip the screws up. So they don't have to be overly tight. It's only going to be thin aluminium. For the... Okay, and then once I put him in my controller box, enclosure box, you can see there somewhere. I can mark the, the holes and just put some short screws in, and then sit them nice and solid, nice access, nice ventilation room around. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll move on to the next part.